Hello everyone, Phil Rowley here and welcome to my fly tying bench. Today I'm going to tie you Brian Chan's BMW, a simple, deadly little micro leech. Easy to tie and a must have in your still water fly box. If you enjoy this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to see more videos, and if you want to get notifications of future videos, hit that bell as well. If you want to find out where the recipe is, it's right here in the comments section, as long with the materials and other tools that I use to tie this fly. So come to my vise, I'll show you just how easy it is to tie a BMW. The BMW possesses traits common to most of Brian Chan's Stillwater patterns. Simple to tie and best of all works for trout across North America. The list of materials is short for this one. So let's tie the BMW. A simple little micro leech and it stands, what does BMW stand for? Brian's Marabou Wiggler. Another simple pattern from a good friend Brian Chan that just works wonders. It's an excellent early spring, late fall pattern and it's also a killer pattern at times for me when fish are eating coronamids. You're trying to hold, match the hatch permutations and you throw this out there and it just slays them. And we're going to tie a black one, probably one of my favorite color combinations is black body, gold rib, gold bead. Uh, you can tie them with silver ribs, silver beads. We tie them in uh, claret or burgundy, olive, and uh, black are probably the three most common colors. So we're just going to start, get some black tying thread, some MFC 80 onto the hook. I've got a 764 gold bead, tungsten preferred. So if you're fixing this under an indicator, which is what we most commonly do, um, it'll bounce and jig around a little bit. It is not balanced and it still performs very well. It's an original form, so no need to change it. We've got a little bit of some fray, something going on in the shank there, so we'll clean that off. Scissors in there. Big sweep, gone. We've got some more back here as well, so just watch those hook points. Sometimes you fray the thread. And now for the body and tail, we're just taking a marabou plume. You're looking for a fine, a plume that has nice fine mobile tips, but also has a fair bit of um, um, fiber on there as well. So you sometimes have to search through and get, uh, and I'm going to strip off um, about an eighth of an inch or so. Nice, less is more. And we're just going to Stroke those tips together. I'm going to measure our tail about the length of the shank. Bring the tying thread back down. Hold that on that place. My band-aided thumb from bad dispute with a boat anchor. You just got that little sparse tail. Don't worry if it's ragged. Uh, you can pull it a little bit. That might be a bit long, but about shank length is fine. Gather that in. And do not trim off the excess. Just let that sit. And now we're going to tie in our ribbing material, which is UTC Ultra Wire, small gold. Again, you can use the silver um, wire. So I generally, again, I said earlier in, in the beginning, Match. I generally match my bead color and my wire color. So gold bead, gold rib, silver wire, silver rib. And I'm sure you could tie this in red. There's lots of colors, so you know, put your own personal stamp on this for what works best in your local waters. I'm just going to tie in. I'm going to do is to get that started right behind where you've tied in the tail. A couple of wraps, and I'm just going to do my best to flip the marabou out of the way and continue pull back on that wire a little bit and then just secure the rest of that wire 
up the shank so I have a good purchase on it. I don't want it to slip out all the way up. And now we're just going to take get that wire under control in a material clip. And now we're just going to take our marabou and spin it up, really get the fibers radiating out. And then we're just going to wind this forward so those fibers and, and come up and spin it some more just to get you want these fibers that's why you want that bushy those bushy plumes so these fibers will radiate all the way out take that right up to the rear of the bead Hold everything. A couple of wraps. Pull that back. And come in and trim, trim off the excess. Just like that. You can see that's nice and fibery, fibrous. If that's the word. And now we're just going to work our ribbing, just zigzag it back and forth, trying not to trap too many fibers down. Not going for any sort of specific segments, just nice even ribbing. Add a little bit of reinforcement, a little bit of attractive flash. Oops, broke the thread. So this happens. You break your thread, so just stay calm. I'm going to reattach the tying thread behind the bead. A couple of wraps will get her started. Come in and trim and just carry on. So a couple of wraps over the top. Couple of wraps in behind. And just come in and back my scissors points. And then we're going to whip finish the fly, but before I'm just going to put some brushable super glue, coat the thread, moisten my fingers a little bit just to pull everything back. Work that coated thread directly behind the bead. Three or four turns, five turns, whip finish, and your BMW is done. How's that for simplicity? Nothing much to it, right? But boy, this little fly works. Dead simple, dead simple. Got a few little frayed thread fragments sticking around there. You can trim those out. But that's the BMW. Brian's Marabou Wiggler. Tie them up in black, olive, and burgundy. And you'll have a great selection of micro leeches you can use early spring, late fall. And like I said earlier, when, those, when they're eating coronamids, you've tried every match the hatch permutation. Hang one of these down there. You'll be surprised at how well it produces. For more information on fly fishing, and still water fly fishing in particular, please visit my website at flycraftangling.com. Here you will find fishing tips, fly patterns, articles, information regarding my seminars and schools, along with links to my blog and mine and Brian Chan's online still water fly fishing store. You can also visit our store directly at stillwaterflyfishingstore.com. While you're visiting my site, please join my mailing list to receive my educational newsletters. You can also follow me through my social media channels. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already and give this video a like. Please take the time to watch my other videos as well. Thanks for watching.